This patient presented with a progressive enlargement of the sac of an abdominal aortic aneurysm after endovascular aortic repair due to a type 2 endoleak. He underwent prior perigraft embolization with onyx more than a year ago. Now our plan was to embolize the inferior mesenteric artery through the superior mesenteric artery using the arch of Riolan. This we can appreciate in the right image that was reconstructed from the patient's CT scan. After obtaining right common femoral access, we inserted our 5 French sheet and started with the cannulation of the SMA. This was aided by 2D, 3D fusion imaging, meaning the patient's preoperative CT scan was overlaid and merged with the intraoperative fluoroscopy image. This was done by matching fixed anatomical landmarks like bone structures, such as the pelvis or spine. The implanted stent graft, vessel wall calcification or the previously used embolization material can also be used to enhance precision. After the registration is complete, we can mark the origin of the target vessels, in our case the SMA, with a circle to facilitate cannulation. The SMA was cannulated using a radiopaque C2 catheter and a hydrophilic guide wire. Usually it is done by the use of steerable sheets that have better maneuverability. A hand-injected contrast flush was used to confirm the catheter position. After successful cannulation, the wire was exchanged for an O14 guide wire and a quick cross catheter was advanced inside our 5 French catheter. The arch of Riolan was marked using fusion imaging by drawing the center line of the collateral on the multiplanar CT reconstruction as seen here. Discrepancies between the actual vessel position and the preoperative imaging are mainly caused by the rigidness of the inserted endovascular devices, however the overlay can be fine-tuned and adjusted manually. In this case, we choose to obtain a roadmap by performing an additional angiography to aid the cannulation of the small side branch leading us to the arch. During this maneuver, the distal part of the arch was marked using the same method. Here we can appreciate the whole arch of Riolan connecting the SMA to the IMA marred with a green line on the left panel. We then finished passing our wire and catheter to the origin of the IMA. We performed an angiography to confirm the location and flow in the endoly. Then we proceeded to insert three 14mm detachable coils in the aneurysm sac and then three 6mm coils extending into the IME. Completion angiogram showed diminished flow in the aneurysm sac. At this point, we completed our procedure and removed all endovascular devices.